Hello viewers, Super GT here. Welcome to another endurance race on Gran Turismo Sport. So this this one is 66 laps of Catalonia. Now you're probably wondering why 66. One, I love number six, and two, um, it's how many laps they did in Formula One. Besides, so go with that. Could have done 100 laps, but 66 is enough. Still going to last two hours or something. Uh, did I spell the title wrong? Whoops. Let me just change that. Tersismo. There we go. Changed it. Yep. It's here in my in my typical dark t-shirt. Okay. Um, let's very quickly go through this this race. There's a sixty lap. Uh, God, can't even talk. Sixty six laps. Catalonia Group Three. Hard or medium tyres you can choose from. Here are the players on the right hand side. We've got some, some quick guys in here. Oscaro Legner. You may notice. GTA Tijni. Uh, his channel is linked in the description. Very fast guy. Maybe even the fastest in this whole land of Great Britain. There he is. GTA Tijni. Very quick player indeed. OG Pi Overlord. Mapman F12. You may recognise some of these names. Picked a mix, so you can see a fair mix of nationalities, kind of. Some Europeans, Canadians, one Irish, and German. Um, yeah, Tijani is going to most likely dominate. Although, I don't know, Alegna might do well. Just got to plug something in. Um, shoulder reveal. And I'm back. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is. Okay, I'm just going to have to change the weather and change it back. And then we can do our qualifying. Then I'll just change it back. I'm only going to do like two laps qualifying. It's, it's a 66 lap, 66 lap race. Qualifying doesn't matter too much. You know you're getting a uh, Christmas present of me, right? Tijani, I'd love it, mate. But yeah, Tijani's um, fresh off the back of his um, exploits in Monaco. He was in the uh, Gran Turismo World Finals. And it didn't go his way, uh, unfortunately. But, um, But, I mean, it's just an achievement to be there, just to get to the final, and, you know, you're in Monaco. Good stuff, eh? What if you feel the urge to take a dump on that 57? Yeah, that's a, that's a tough one. I think the race is more important, so... Just have to put my nappy on, I guess, and just let it happen. Right, here we go. It's qualifying. Wait, I'm on the hard tyre. No, I don't want the hard tyre. my camera a little bit okay um, no. oh idiot ramanu can I something your nose um, you can something my nose absolutely go for it I don't know if you guys can hear the donation sound I tried to sort it out today but I don't know if you can hear it So Catalonia, this is the newest track into the game. We, we're probably going to be getting... Um, no, not probably, we are going to get a... Um, the new Tokyo track, which was showcased at the World Finals. Which is probably... What's the last... Normally Wednesday, isn't it? It's the last Wednesday of the month, which will be next... Three days time. Grab has gone for the pick pick Porsche. Would bumper view not be quicker? Um, the quickest view is the view you're used to. Then. 
I'm used to chase cam, so chase cam would be quicker for me. So we're just going to do two laps, two flying laps of qualifying, uh, for qualifying. I've gone for the Mercedes, um, and someone said there, it sounds very nice, sounds sexy. It does indeed. It's a very nice sounding car. Give myself a bit of space here to the Porsche up ahead. So I've got Tishney behind, actually. It's a bit daunting. Here we go, first lap. Nine Hammock, I have no idea what that is a reference to, but okay. I have no idea how good this car is around this track. I've, I've, I've deliberately not gone for my favourite or best car, so... Yeah, you know, just try and mix it up a little bit, do something different. Because you're wasting me in the uh, the Porsche. Which a fair few people have complained about. Because um, most of my FIA videos are the manufacturer series, and I chose Porsche, therefore I'm always going to be driving a Porsche, but some people not really like it. Tishney fastest, 1.8 seconds quicker, just a casual 1.8 seconds. Wolf of Bark Bork. Never a truth word has been said. It's all about the Wolf of Bark Bork. Oh my god, I'm bottling this lap. Let's try for the uh, Toyota. Sort of following for the last sector, see if we can learn anything. Nice and narrow there. Got a slide. This is the part I struggle with, the chicane. That's where it was planted. Mercedes, not quite. Okay, I could have gone quicker, but. Now, um, I think this guy wasn't signed up. Wait. Kitted, you're a good. <laughs> Cheers, man. You're a good. No, this guy. Oh, man. Fair. So someone has left. 
But this person isn't coming back, seems. Who is it who left? Oh, got another one. God damn. Well, Grand Theft Auto looks different. Troy Fowler, thanks for the two dollars. Yeah, man, it's um, the racing things are really good now. Okay, just trying to work out. There's someone who has left the lobby and is supposed to be here. Um, Gonzo. If anyone joins, they've got a space. <laughs> okay, right, well, we're going to start the race here. We've got lots to talk about today, actually, because. Um because. Oh, I can't change. Because the last race of F1 was today. So there's plenty of uh, discussion. Right, we're just going to get straight into it. And I think you have to start on the tyres that you did qualify on. There we go. Yeah, sorry Fair Dinkum, but there was someone who was signed up. That was an awful start. Well, here we go. 66 laps begin. Let's see what we can do here then. Okay, uh, 11. Not the best qualifying. At all, but... Pony mentalist is glitched. I don't think I'll ever have an open lobby where everyone gets away from the grid. Irishman's wife. Gary Gilmore. Let Calster in. Well, the, the race has started now, unfortunately. Plus, Calster's not good enough. Thank you, Gary Gilmore, once again. Get him on the way out. Past the Beetle. So, Tichney didn't get pole position there, actually. It was um, a leg now. And I was thinking that Legner's definitely going to challenge. He's a very good player. So I don't know how long this will take, but it'll take more than two hours. Which is not too bad. Uh, some of the endurances I've done have been a lot longer. Obviously, yeah, we did that. Horizon 4 live stream not too long ago. It took 11 hours 30 minutes in total of the race. So, Mikey Michaelton here going for the PG Tips sponsored Jaguar. And I'm into a slipstream now. So, my car here is roughly using 10% of fuel per lap. Go past him here at turn 1. I'm just wondering what the best strategy is because if you could do 11 lap stints then you've only got to stop five times so if I could eke out the fuel a little bit then I could do that and then um, but then I'd have to really eke out the tyres that's the hard part I think So, um, for those wondering, the tyres are set to 8 and uh, the fuel set to 4. So, I say the tyres are the main thing to worry about. Okay, the race is settled down here. Unfortunately, 
we have one person already gone. That was Pony Mentalist with the glitch. I, it's just this glitch that always seems to happen and I just don't know what you can do about it. But thank you for joining. You just sent a message there which you can't quite see behind my webcam. It says thank you. Good luck. Have fun. I hope next time will work. Yeah. That's, it's just annoying that this happens every time. Okay, onto the long straight. I love the long straight here because I can look at the chat for a while. Those fronts, actually, yeah, I, do, I do need to move that back. This is something I did realise when I was testing. The fronts do wear, especially the front left of this car. Uh, Catalonia, obviously a clockwise track, but then you've got lots of really long left-handers like this one, which kill that front left. And I'm on mediums, so I think if I could eat this stint out to maybe nine laps and then do a couple of longer stints on the hard, but we'll see. It might be quicker just to do six stops instead of five. It is a long pit lane here, though. We do lose quite a lot of time in the pits at Catalonia. Penalty up there, 6.8. Now we're not running the FIA rules, it's just an open lobby, so he can slow down server whenever he likes. There's not none of the, uh, the yellow penalty zones, it just serves it whenever whenever he wants to. I don't know if it I don't know if Catalonia is one of those tracks where it just goes down automatically in some corners. It might be, I don't know. I'm in 8th, but it looks like a close battle here, all the way up to 4th, just in front of us, or 5th actually, sorry, with Kay Alex, the Greek, in the BMW. So it's a good uh, mix of cars here, actually. I think there are about 3 911s, but a fair range of other cars. I think a couple of people have gone for the Atenza, gone for the Merc, tiffany has gone for the, uh, the Toyota FT. for the Mercedes here. So we've got two people right behind us. So there's Jack there as well. But it's always good to have a nice and joyous race. Um, so you don't see these enough in the game. Well, they're not in sport mode or something, really. And I would say I really enjoyed the manufacturer's uh, world, world final. That was amazing. Christian, best of luck, Steve. Many thanks, Christian, for the 10 euro. Very kind of you. I'll do my best. I'll try not to bottle it. But the manufacturer's final. Um, in Monaco, it was absolutely amazing. It was, um, I think it was seven laps of Nurburgring 24, and um, that was like an hour long. And on the last lap, second to fifth were like on the same straight, right behind each other. Oh god, sorry. It was it was ridiculously close after a whole hour of racing. Yeah, these tyres are, are dying already. It's only lap five. I have 
to try out the hard. The lap time, look at the lap times. I just think it's the braking zone. You've got to be careful with the braking zone. As long as you keep it smooth, then it should be okay. Cheers, uh, Protector Studios, for the uh, five euro. Um, when will I race with Jimmy Broadbent? Well, you're going to have to keep tabs on my channel because I've got some big updates coming, which means I will be doing more sim racing very soon. Um, but yeah, it's good to hear that you're a fan, man, uh, mate. Man, mate. Oh, here we go. Lap 6 out of 66, 666 on the screen. Stuff. Finally, got to get the job done here. Oh, I'll run him a little bit, a little bit wide, but I'll take that. Oh, penalty. Okay, we'll ignore that for now. Guy ahead's got eleven point one. Go down a little bit, go down a tiny bit. So I wonder when people are start going to start hitting. Oh, there's Tishney in. And the two ahead going as well. I'm going to leave one more lap, I'm going to go at the end of this lap. So I'm into third. It'd be good to be able to see what kind of time loss you're going to have. Pestilence. Um, is GT Sport worth buying on its own? Uh, buying a whole console just for this game? Well, I would say that I, I did. And I've really enjoyed it. I mean, it's hard to say because I don't know how much money you have. If you're a billionaire, then yeah, just do it. If you're scratching for cash and barely afford anything, then probably not a good idea. Um, but yeah, I mean, I haven't regretted it. I've absolutely loved this game. I bought it just, I bought a PS4 just for this, and zero regrets, mate. Definitely recommend it. Push now, push now. In, 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 in. Right. Here to climb the ladder. That's all. That's what it's all about, mate. Keep playing. Keep improving. Keep learning. Even through the crap days, we'll get there. I don't know what to do. I'll go on to hard for a bit. I'll try the hard type for a while. I might as well try one stint at least. Try one, but we'll see how it goes.
guys are on the medium. If, they're, if they start driving away from me, they might have changed the, they might have still be on mediums. Forced them deep there. Forced them into a mistake. I would say sometimes you get sort of this little advantage um, as the streamer. Where people are scared to kind of uh, do anything against you. They're like, oh no, if I kill Super GT, then everyone's going to hate me. So everyone's a bit more cautious around you sometimes. But then sometimes you get um, the opposite, where it's like, oh, it's Super GT, let's ram him, let's kill him. I want to get in the video. So it can kind of work both ways. See how long we can make these tyres last. Tisney's back into the lead then. Gonzo in second, Alegna's third. Looking at the map, they're all very close to each other. Um, I'm playing on just the normal PlayStation uh, rather than the Pro. So it looks like penalty. You, the penalty goes down by about a couple of attempts there at the start. There's no point in actually slowing down to serve it. We'll just do it itself. Hugh Hattrick! Got more views than BBC4. I need more viewers than BBC One. When will be the day when we start getting a million viewers on the live stream? Well, to be fair, I mean, I remember when I first did a live stream. Thank you, Hugh, by the way. Thanks very much. And yeah, we'll get that fun for the Le Mans. I'm gonna, I'm gonna race in Le Mans one day. I remember when I first did live stream. It was on Twitch, and um, I was getting like 20 viewers. Like, oh my god, this is crazy. 20 people are watching me. Now, um, well, for that Horizon stream we did um, a week ago, got um, nearly 3,000 of that. That was uh, pretty crazy. Here then we can look at my my first did lap times 47-0, So not 48-0. We'll see how that kind of matches up to what we do here. Obviously the hard tires are about to go longer. The pit lap is faster because um, um, because of the way that the game teleports you to the end of the pit lane, so you save a bunch of time there. That that is true of quite a lot of tracks. You your uh, out lap from the pits is actually faster than your normal laps. That's quite common actually. And yeah, that's the case here. 
they're still not faster than the actual faster lap, which Allegra has done. Seventh. Um, hey man, you inspired me to get GT on PS4. I got my first podium online today in a weekly race. You got. It's good to hear, man. Um, I always love that, you know, when people end up buying a game because of me. I think that's pretty crazy. But I mean, good, good stuff. Keep it up. It's always good to get that first win just so you know you can actually do it. And then uh, the next wins from that should follow on quite quickly. Steve from Norwich, 666, oh. Six hundred sixty-six. My favorite number, mate. I absolutely love it. Thanks so much, Steve from Norwich. Yeah, for those wondering, 66 laps because that's how long the Grand Prix is. So many laps they do in F1. Could have done 100 laps, normally I do 100 or something or 200, but 66 is enough. Do you think the new cars in the update? Um, I haven't seen the new cars, actually. I need to check that out. I haven't actually seen what they are. Choose Gary Gilmore for another 20, man. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, all I know is the track, the, to the new Tokyo layout. I don't, I haven't really see exactly what the track is like. I've seen, I, I did watch the race in the Nations Cup. It looked pretty interesting. There's like tight hairpins in there. The uh, interesting race online, that track. Could get a bit messy. We maybe have to do a 200 lap endurance around there. As per tradition. So still in eighth. The stint is kind of... Um, I don't know where it's going to be honest. Have to wait until people start pitting and then we'll see. So I pitted on the end of seven. If I can just do twelve laps on this stint. I could still I still want to do a five five stop race. But I'd have to do a couple of long stints. Worth it. Sixty six laps of this track is about three hundred and seven kilometres, yes. Now, I think um, the F one ruling is that they always try and make it just over th three hundred kilometres plus one lap, I think. It's something like that. Which normally works out to about an hour and a half in an F one car. But it obviously does depend on what the track layout is like. Because obviously Monaco, 300 kilometers of Monaco is going to be longer in terms of time than 300 around Monza. Do you use sim or controller? I use a controller. Here it is. Okay, we've got past Alex, he's just gone in. There's my penalty gone. Okay, so if you get a penalty, you don't really have to serve it. You're not really actually getting penalised too much. Okay, so how many apps have I done on this still? One, two, three, four, five, and a sixth one. I'm constantly in the 48s, which is good consistency. You can see my medium still. I went up into the 50s by the fifth lap. So, the long game is suiting the hard tyres, I think. 
Tisney's in the lead, Legna's second, Gonzo's third. They're 30 seconds ahead. BPM! He's saying, what's he saying? Let me get through here. What are your thoughts on Nations Cup final? Yeah, that's a good subject. Thank you for the donation as well and for the topic of discussion. Um, I've really enjoyed watching it. I will say that first. Um, the main thing that was a bit weird for me was the, the car choices. How it didn't seem like all the cars were balanced. Well, they, they obviously were. So you could completely get shafted over. It added an element of luck to the final to an extent. I still think the Fraga was the best player. Lightning maybe could have won it if he had better cars, potentially, but Fraga won it and he, he deserved it with that drive at Le Mans. He drove so well in that final race and it was the same car for everyone there, so there was absolutely no complaints about that. Um, it was exciting though. I, I, I really enjoyed watching it. And just the whole spectacle of the whole event was just amazing. Just the way it was run, just the racing itself. Yeah, but yeah, I really enjoyed watching it. It was a good final. And you now I'd love to be there next year. Um, maybe even just like the regional final would be great. That's like a good aim, I think, to try and get to one of the regional finals. So I think qualify for the Nissan regional final in Catalonia in Spain in was it Spain? Yeah I think it was in it was in Spain, I can't remember where it was. I'm getting confused because I know there was the regional final was in Madrid I think, but then the Nissan thing was in Barcelona, so yeah I qualified for it but I couldn't make it. But yeah the final was amazing. I, I really enjoyed the manufacturers final um, that race was absolutely great. Uh, you, you'd think the race wouldn't be all that spectacular because it was at the Nürburgring 24 circuit. So there was not much overtaking through the North line, but I was proven wrong. And I actually sat there and watched the whole thing. Normally I'd always be skipping through it. I didn't watch it live, I watched it the next morning. Normally I'd skip through parts of it, but I didn't skip any of it. But yeah, good question, Matt. Um, I enjoyed it, it was good. slower and Mikey and Jay made it in this so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and beat people here by going longer I think my front left down to about 50% Scott Mansfield T-5 days to right night rider livery um, what do you mean by that Night Rider delivery on what? Well, thank you, Scott, for the two-pound. I'd like to try and acknowledge as many comments and, of course, all the donations, but sometimes I'm just lost and I have no idea what the reference is to. Gonzo coming up behind here. He's just gone, he's just pitted for fresh tyres, so he'll be coming through quite quickly, I think. Two seconds off the pace there. This is where these tyres begin to go off. Maybe we have to reevaluate here. We won't be able to do five five stop race, it's gonna to be too much lose too much time in the late latter laps of each stint. I'll have to go in at the end of this lap. There he is, he's in the Nissan, big boy. It's a 50, yeah the laps are beginning to tumble now. Either. There he is. He's got the 
drink on the way out. Nothing I can do. I think we're running different races though at the moment. I love that pencil delivery. Always reminds me of the good old Gran Turismo 3 days. Tishney and Allegna are onto the hard tyres, you can see on the top left there. So I was, in a I was on 100% fuel. I just need maybe just go up to eighty percent. Look, Philin, good to see you again, man. It's been a long time. About eighty percent, I'll do. Or eighty-one. Okay. Let's go. Okay, where am I? Still a little bit off, still a little bit off. I'm getting caught as well. Um, my hands are cold, that's my excuse. good if they have multi-class options in this game. You can do multi-class lobbies, it's just you can't enforce all the rules, that's the problem. This is where Forza does trump this game in some respects because of the setting list it has. So the list of settings is more comprehensive than Forza. So much nicer on fresh tyres. Seventh. Someone just pitted. Blue flag. Play the blue flag Vettel song. Alexa. behind me. Go for the M3 GT. I'm not sure how good that car is. I mean I did I used it one in one in a video. I think I won a race with it around Suzuka but I don't think it is that great. There's a group of three going up through turn nine now so maybe uh, about ten seconds behind that battle. But that's the beauty of an endurance race. I have time to kind of regain that. Just need to put some good laps in. 
consistent laps. I think um, fourth is on. I think the top three look like they're way too quick, but um, I think fourth is definitely potential. Uh, we're in for fourth if we get things right. I don't know if you remember my 200 laps of Suzuka. That was a really good race. It was um, I think his name S18 Venom, and we were fighting on the last lap into the last final chicane. It was pretty crazy. After two, after uh, two hundred laps, which was, I think it was like six hours. Oh, the Irishman who had just lapped has just left. Why you no know sixty nine laps? What's up, be cool. I like sixty six. It has more sixes in it. Do 69 laps of Fisherman's Ranch straight after this, how about that? I've caught like two seconds on this lap. Joel Costello! Um, oh. I'll try and read that in just a moment when I go on the main straight. You know what I really need to look at is the... Um... Dimitri, thanks for the five, mate. The fiver. I need to look at the text-to-speech thing, which will read out the donations in a robotic voice. Okay, um, new to the channel, grew up on GT3, 4, 5, haven't played in years. Your videos have been scratching a good itch for me. Keep it up. Many thanks, mate. Um, yeah, that's, um, that's something that quite a lot of people say, actually. Um, they used to play the games, but haven't done so in a long time, and then they can relive those memories through my videos. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Mid-fifth. Okay, that's not too bad. This is where something like the Project Cars 2 um, director mode would be really useful. Even though I'm not a massive fan of Project Cars, I do respect all the uh, modes that it has. And the director mode actually looks pretty good. And this is this kind of live stream would be perfect for that. So I could have someone else in the lobby who could direct all the camera angles, who could show you the graphics of time gaps and everything like that. It's so obviously like this, you can only see it from my perspective. Christopher, cheer for the 20 DKK. Cheers, lad. No, cheers to you, lad. Thanks very much, mate. Cheers from Denmark, the land of Kevin Magnuson. Okay, gap to Mikey ahead, six seconds. That's coming down, that gap. Steve's entire life is an endurance race. I suppose you could say that life is an endurance race. In many respects. What's up, Matt? Oh, Hyperdrive, good to see you. Welcome along, my friends. That consistency, 47.5, Not bad. Well, not bad for me, anyway. Dimitri is back with a message this time. Good vids. Uh, keep it up, homie. Will do. Thanks for all the support, matey. Miracles do happen, mate.
But yeah, I love these endurance races. Sometimes you, I don't know, it's like, we've done 21 laps, 38 minutes nearly, or more than now, and like, that's just flown by. You just get into this weird rhythm and you just almost forget where you are. It's like I'm not even really driving the car, my mind's just, I don't know, it's like I'm daydreaming. Well, I must admit that sometimes <laughs> when I've been karting, it does sound weird, but I have daydreamed and I've kind of woken up like half through the lap and I'm like, oh, I've just driven half a lap and I don't even know how I've done that. It happens a lot in games actually, sometimes you daydream and you've just done half the game. You know? Mikey's just got in, he's on the medium. Okay, I'm jump, jumping up to fourth. Matman, 10 seconds up the road, so he's just gone through turn two now. So that lap a little bit off, 48-2. It breaks my 47, 1 minute 47 combo. Yeah, so good to see you, Wolves. And yeah, Veloce Racers, you may well have heard of him. Very, very, very quick. Um, Forza Motorsport player bought himself a um, PlayStation the other day and soon to presumably be getting Gran Turismo Sport so we can just see how well he does on this game no doubt he'll be quick I mean he's just a quick player on it on it. any race game he'll be quick so it's always interesting to see how um, players can switch across from one game to another like if you're really good at one game can you make the switch to go to another game because um you may well have heard of G2 Isaac. Um, he's more of a sort of a eye racing player originally, anyway. And he's been venturing into Forza and Project Cars, and he's been doing actually pretty well. He finished, I think, it was fourth in the Le Mans Esports on Forza yesterday, which is like not bad up against like Laser and that. The Irishman you lacked. Apologies for the early exit. Bedtime for the kiddies. No worries. Um, no worries at all. Thank you for joining. And thank you for letting me lap you. Thanks for the donation as well. But yeah, thanks for joining. Thanks for racing. Shame it didn't work out. We're down to 13 at this point here. I think actually, I said fourth is the best we could get. But I think third is actually the best we could get. I don't know what strategy Matt Man is on. That's the thing we've got to work out. But to be honest, I think everyone's just going to go onto hard tyres and just just do as many laps as they can do on each set. Um, so I picked at the end of seven and then at the end of sixteen. I did nine there. So sixteen. 25, 16, 25, 34, 43, 52, and then 61. Okay. Then we could do one more lap per stint. Then we could do one less stop. And then again, if you're losing three seconds on that lap, times five, 15 seconds, will you lose 15 seconds in the stop? You probably will, actually. I don't know how much you lose in stop, maybe 20? 20 something? Three, nine, five. Okay, the laps are going a little bit slower now. That man has a pit stop on me. Okay. Yeah, I did think so because he was He was actually very quick at the beginning. He was in the top three to start the race off. We'll see when he goes into the pit lane next. It's always hard it's quite hard to monitor all of these things. So obviously there's a lot to think about when I'm live streaming. All the chat, all the the game. I mean it's hard enough just to think about the game. You know, so 
people straight on the chat as well. Going through the stuff. Yeah, can you all stop talking, please? Can you all not comment anymore? I can't concentrate. Okay, Gonzo's he's catching up now. So this is where my tires begin to go off. And his aunt's going off. Trenton! Cheers from US land, land of guns and McDonald's. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? The Americans love oh god, love your guns. And you love your, your burgers. But who doesn't love a good burger? Cheers, Trenton. Oh, there goes Matman into the pits. There he goes. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to go in. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't feel enough, did I? So only his. Only put about eight laps of worth of fuel in. No, nine. Maybe put ninety percent fuel in next time. Again, I'm not going to fight him, but I'm not going to move out of his way either. He's struggling a little bit for grip. Do it, mate. Go on, send it. Send it, son. Get the stamp. He's all over the place. Look at him. The car's actually bearing to the right as I brake there. The uneven tire wear. Here we go. They stay only on the hard button. So 25, 34, 43, 52, 61. If I can just do one more lap each stint. I need to put, I'm gonna try it. Put 90% fuel in. For an do you think this track is better than Fuji? Um, race. Um, I think they're both good endurance racing tracks. I think Fuji's actually a very good track for endurance. It's, hard, it's a hard question. Um, I would say they're about the same. They're both, they're both equally as good for endurance races. I haven't done... We didn't do a Fuji one, did we? Maybe I've got to do a Fuji endurance. Oh god. Okay, saved it. Sometimes with the more grip, the car actually gets more twitchy and it can be more difficult to handle. Tidney's into the pits from the lead and Legner goes past him. Okay, so they're differing their strategies now because I think to begin with they were doing the same. And now they're different. My aim, Calster, is to try to not get lapped by Titchney, or by anyone, I suppose. But I think, I think he probably will lap me somewhere. 
fact he nearly did there and it's, we're not even halfway through worrying times Adiemi Innes there he is what a legend he's making his presence known thank you Adiemi Two guys into the pits. That's Kay, Alex, and Swift. Will I get past them both? Let's have a look. Yes, I should do. Might see them appear here, right? If anyone, does anyone remember those Gran Turismo 3 endurances where it was, it was actually a 24 hour race in Nürburgring? And you could uh, you could do B spec, so you could, let the, you could let the game play it for you, you could fast forward it by three times. But even that would take, um, even that would take eight hours. I remember doing it once and I left it on overnight when mum came in in the morning, turned the console on. I was like, mum! Trying to do this insurance race. I think this is an interesting battle between. There's probably about five or six of us who are fighting for a third or fourth. And, um. To, as, as it normally happens in an endurance race, we've all kind of spread out now onto our different strategies. I like, all converge at the end, which is always the good, the good part. So everyone does their different thing, and then eventually, boom! Oh, we're all going to be racing to the end here, and then it all gets quite close. Why do you do such streams? Well, I mean, this one I actually genuinely really enjoy this kind of stream. Sometimes I like to just challenge myself, aka the Horizon 4 one. That was just pure death, though, to be honest. But I mean, this this is a good length race, I think. We'll see exactly how long it'll be when we get to that 33. We can just double the time. My guess will be about. Uh, it'll be over two hours. I used to never really like Catalonia, but I've said this with every track. The more I play any track, the more I like it. Because you learn to appreciate the challenge of the track. It's like that Dragon Trail Seaside, the one that's Daily Race B at the moment. I used to really not like that track, but now that I've played it a lot, I actually really enjoy it. So I think actually the better you get at something, the more you enjoy it. You just have to persevere through the crap of the game. 48 Okay, Mikey's just gone into the pits, I'm into sick place. Soil livery Nissan GTR. 
I'm yet to do a group four endurance. We could do maybe a group four next. Um, done a group one, Le Mans. Done group two, Suzuka. Done group three. What are the other ones we did? Oh, Red Bull Ring. Did 100 laps there. Oh, there's Gonzo into the pits. Hi, Descaro. Elegno. So yes, I am going to get ahead of him. There he is, though. He's just appeared at the end of the bit, mate. So you never quite know with... with um, you see their dot in the pit lane when they're in the pits. Getting their tyres changed or whatever. But then they might... Because of the way the pit lane is, they just suddenly appear at the end. So you don't know... If you go past their marker, you don't know if you're actually going to beat them out. Because they might just... Fast forward to the end, so it's a bit lame. Well, I've got through again, four and a half seconds ahead, so we're going to keep leapfrogging with each other throughout this race, I think. to die. Probably you do, I don't know. I did 50 on 4 to 7. That took like 8 hours. God, that was that was a hard one. Although, it was a good challenge. I actually prefer the enjoyers on the long tracks because it's slightly less repetitive. I feel like the Nurburg rings good, but the Norse life's good. There goes J Mag in. So I'm back into fourth, now 17 seconds behind Matt. So he's actually gained quite a lot because I was like 10 seconds behind him in the last step. So he might be going on a more aggressive strategy. Coming, he'll be here in a couple of laps. We've nearly done half the race, that's gone really quickly. Elegant is leading. I don't know what the gap is to him and Tishley. It's hard to tell who's who on the map now. It'd be nice maybe if like, the leader was a different colour, but. See at the end, I suppose. And here's reverse turtle going slowly. Has he run out of fuel? Don't know what he's doing, but he's going very slow. Lap 32, nearly on the halfway lap. Cheers, Keith. Yeah, yeah, I, I love this Mercedes. Um, it's fairly good to drive, actually. It's really easy to drive. There's not really much drama with it. It sounds bloody good, too. And I thought that was something different. I don't think anyone else is driving this car. I think it's actually um, an underappreciated under car. I think it's actually a very good car for I can tell. But, oh, Gonzo's a little bit wide there. Might get a penalty for that. 
kind of a kick in the teeth when you get a penalty when you're when you, you go wide but you've lost time and then you get a penalty for it. Well, he hasn't got a penalty. For it. <laughs> Alonso was doing that in today's F1 race. He was he was like cutting the chicane like blatantly. He did it twice, I think. Just like cutting it for no reason, just for the lols, basically. Just getting penalties left, right, and centre. Just trying to once again. What's your favourite movie that came out this year? Oh, um, oh man, um, I can't even think because I'm not really someone who watches a lot of movies to be honest. I can't even think of a film I've watched this year. People, you need to name big films that have come out this year. Just get them. I've seen one. I can't actually think, but thanks for the donation, it's a good question. I'm a minute behind the leader. Okay, Gonzo's coming, he's less than a second behind now. Beyond me in a flash. It kind of suits me that he's going past me every time, not the other way around. So I can kind of, I can lose him a bit of time by being slow without costing myself too much time. Has he gone for it? No. So I'm costing him time now, even though I'm not, I'm not losing time myself really. I'm just lapping my pace. fighting. I'm just going to lose time to everyone else, isn't it? There's not much point. So I'm down to fifth, but... There goes Matt Man in. Okay, this is the end of lap 33 now. It's taken one hour and one minute, so it's just going to take up two hours. This race, which isn't too bad actually. I think that's a good length for Deadpool 2. Yeah, I've seen that. That's a good film. I enjoyed that. It was a bit. I mean, it wasn't. I would say it's particularly better than the first one. Venom, I haven't seen. I'm not. I'll be honest. I'm not actually completely into like, all the superhero films. That there's so many of them. Living on a prayer, not seen. Mamma Mia, not seen. I have seen quite a lot of uh, films on the plane because I've been flying quite a lot actually, so that's when I've watched quite a few films. The one film I've really enjoyed, I don't know if it came out this year, but I watched it this year. It's, um, it's on Tom Cruise where he's um, he's a drug runner, like he flies in drugs. The cartel. I can't remember the name of it, but I really enjoyed it. I know it's a recent film, but I can't remember. If it's, I don't know if it's this year it came out. But I enjoyed that. Avengers. Um, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of it, to be honest. Uh, it's just like excessive CGI and a fairly cheesy story. It's not, I don't know. I just couldn't get into it. The best superhero film is Dark Knight. That's because it kind of has a real feel to it. That or Iron Man. I think those, both of those have. I don't know, there's kind of a. I know Iron Man is kind of sensational, but at the same time, it kind of has a. Tony Stark makes it feel. Robert Downey Jr. makes it feel like a real kind of. I don't know, believable in a way. Made in America, not seen. 
Penalty for Shadow Realm War. With Super GT as the main main character. Um, but yeah, to be honest, I'm not really uh, someone who watches a lot of films. Even though, you know, I love... I do appreciate a good film. It's just I don't... I don't know. I just, I'm so focused on YouTube, I suppose. That my videos are like films. They're my, they're my films, really. is going to work. I'm losing too much time on these later laps. I think I'm committed to it to this strategy now so I might as well carry on with it. Okay. Mm. American maids, right. Casting couch is a good series. Oh man, I love that, yeah. What are they on now though? They're on like Casting Couch 5000, aren't they? What's the best car for the circuit? Um, well, the 911 and the Volkswagen are both very good. Um, in Group 3. I don't specifically know which is the best car for this track. I think it's the 911 actually. Which is often the best car around most tracks. Just come out ahead of Alex. 22 and a half seconds penalty is gone. God damn, son. Yeah, American Made, I really enjoyed that. And I know it's not a this year film, but a Baby Driver was down on the plane this year. That was, really, that was a really good film. Is it a bit quirky, but I enjoyed that. Yeah, Deadpool 2 was good. Avengers, um, just, I mean, I don't know, there's just sort of too much going on. I, and to be, to be fair, I didn't, Understand. I mean, the story is simple, but I didn't know the backstory because I haven't watched previous ones. So, As, as impressive CG, as CGI is, um, I don't like it when it's like obvious, obviously CGI. I like it when it's like real, if possible.
Yeah, I don't know what he's done to get that 22 and a half second penalty, but... Breaking too early here, I think. It's probably, um, a lot of it's probably just for running wide. Sometimes, like, running out wide of turn 9, onto the middle straight. Or just cutting this final chicane a little bit too much, something like that. And I've just dropped Alex there. Is Spa in this game? No. It's been cried out for by many people, but uh, Spa is not in this game. Bit of a shame, it'd be great to see it in this game. I think it's highly requested. No, I don't think it is, I know it is. Um, lots of people on that track, I'd love to see that track. Tokyo track they're adding, I mean, we'll see how good it is. It's a bit of a disappointment in a way, because I'll... Because it's like, it's just another Tokyo Expressway kind of track, which is, uh, we kind of got something. But, eh, it is what it is. I've really enjoyed the fictional tracks they've added. Um, Dragon Trail Gardens is a really good circuit. Um, Sainty Croix. Oh yeah, how could we get Saint Croix? Then you have that Blue Moon Speedway infield, of course, which is which ain't too bad a track, I suppose. Has some good racing around there. So it's going to be ahead of me this time. We'll see. Yeah, he's coming out now. There he is. There's got a penalty though. 0.7. It's not much. So I'm in sixth. So I've eventually got through all my friends requests, um, I had like 800 or something, and I, f I think the, the max you're allowed is 2,000, uh, 2,000 friends, not that I actually have 2,000 friends in reality, but I accepted all of them, so if you did send me one you should have had it accepted by now, it just, because the problem was I had so many that my console, I could accept about 20, and then the whole thing would just crash. So I, it took ages to get through that list. Gary Gilmore's back. Gotta take the dog girl. He's been fighting again. Hope to be back later. <laughs> um, uh, well, thanks for the update. Um, keep us posted on your dog's farting progress. Uh, <laughs> cheers, Gary. Great update that. Stay posted for more Gary Gilmore dog farting updates here on Super GT's channel. Okay, J Mag's in. Up into fifth again. zero. Okay, good. Yeah, key, it's ridiculous. Um, the console just, it just goes so slow. If I try and go on my friends list, um, like let's say I'm on GT Sport and I go on my friends list, it just says uh, GT Sport applications crashed. Right? It just can't handle two applications at the same time. This is where I think maybe a PS4 Pro might help. Might buy one just so I can actually handle my friends list. Although to be fair, I just use my phone. Um, just use the app just to deal with all the messages and stuff now. It's just a lot easier. Plus, I don't like typing on the 
the controller, it's really slow. So I just use my phone. So I'm keeping up with Gonzo. Somewhat. I fear he is quicker overall though. Watkins Glen, yeah, that'd be a great track if they added that. Before they added it into Forza, I never really knew about it very much. But it's one of the best tracks in Forza 7, I think. And um, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it on this game. Yeah, I don't have a pro. Um, the thing is, I made like a really sort of quick decision on it because, believe it or not, before this game came out, I was like, uh, should I buy it? I don't know. Uh, maybe not. I don't know if I should buy another console just for that. But my brother, he was really big into gaming and he's just moved into the Royal Navy, so um, he was like kind of coming out of gaming in a way. He, he, me and him would play all the time. Um, he's more of a shooter kind of guy though, he likes shooting games. But yeah, he was selling his PlayStation to 400 quid, so might as well just grab it. Get it cheap. But um, I think maybe now, yeah, it might be time to get, uh, get the Pro. Can, can you all guys spam the chat and tell me if you can hear the donation sounds? Broken Bear with the Fiverr, thank you so much. Might read the message there. Let me try and get onto the main straight. It's quite a long one. And again, I need the uh, text to text to speech. I think. Matt man's in. Can't get a little sketchy on this map. No, you can't. Okay. I'll sort that out. I tried sorting it today, but uh, I don't know what's wrong with it. But thank you. Yeah. There's that man there. There he is. So he's doing eight lap stints. So he's gone 42, then he'll go 50, then 58. He's actually, he's on it. So from here to the end, he's got one, two more left. And I've got two more left. But, yeah, he's doing a lot better than I am at this point. Man has a massive advantage here. We've both got a pit twice, but he's he's only got to do eight lappers. I've got to do nine. Get my way out. Of there. Yep. there we 
goes, he's overshot though. He sent it, but he oversent it. And he's just lost himself time. Back in the lead. It's actually going to come up to Lapis soon, I think. We probably will once we go from a pit stop. to make another lap, I won't be able to make another lap. Grind a wall, oh what a track. Classic that. He's, I didn't short shift enough during the stint. Yeah, at all. mediums on them, although they weren't much quicker at this point. I'm going to have to stop twice for 21 laps. I'm going to lose too much time if I've only been twice. I'm going to three more times again. I do 11 laps on a stick. Oh man. 
Just stick to the hard for now. Got so much time. I didn't get the, the lap count right on the pit stops. Three mediums, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Could just do like, could do this one and then do two mediums. I didn't want to go to mediums then because I didn't really think about it enough. seven laps so if we get 14 laps to the end which is lap 52 so we six laps time when we get to lap 54 we've then got two six lap stints they just go really hard on the mediums either that or I stay out and do a 10 lap stint or an 11 I think I'll lose more time doing it. See by I'm getting an omelette maker I'm getting an omelette maker for Christmas. What am I hoping for? An omelette maker, that's I would love one of those actually. That'd be pretty good. What am I getting or what am I hoping for? Um It's a hard question actually. I never know what, I don't even know what I want for Christmas. Maybe the ability, better Gran Turismo ability. Can you buy that? But yeah, thanks. Um, I, I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure, I can't even think. I might as well just be really aggressive now, just go flat out, take the life out of the tyres. Because I I don't think I need to do two more stops. I can't make it last one more from here. Unfortunately because I messed up the lap count. Some aggressive stints. I'm going into pure qualifying mode now. race. F1 would have been done by that now, probably. I'm not getting laps, oh god. No, I'm not. don't know what that was for. Scar is just in. That might be Tishley behind me. No, it's eleven points behind me.
Needle and mediums. Um, I think they've been on hard the whole time, apart from maybe the start. Jack is quick in a line, but so it's, it's not too bad. Some guy coming out the pit lane as well. Got the job done into turn one. And this is about for four. Look how close we are. There's four of us within a couple of seconds here. So it's a good battle. Batman's got me for third, but fourth is what we're fighting for, I think, really. Pull away a little bit. They're fighting. through. So I think Gonzo's only going to have to pick once more. There's J-Mag in. Yeah, Phil, I'm around, yeah, around about the same position. Um, it's kind of switching every now and then because we're all differing strategies, so... Um, it's hard to say exactly who's where, but I'm sure it will converge very soon. Should go past Matt Man again here. Yeah. yeah, there he is. He only needs to get one small though.
I'll go to the end of lap 53. Because that's, that's all I can do on fuel. And then two stints on mediums. And that's it. So a seven lapper and a six. So I might as well go in at the end of this lap. Just do two lap two seven lappers. Nearly lost it. It's gone quiet, yeah. I, I was kind of concentrating there. And I luckily didn't make a mistake. Okay, that'll do. 66%. Or 67. There we go, medium tyres. I'm about to get lapped and I've got a penalty. It's okay, I've been lapped. It's in the Aston Martin. And there's Tichney. I won't interrupt him. That's a really close fight. Look at that, for the lead. I leg him just the front. That's actually bad for me because I'm going to have to do a knock on here and unlap myself. Potentially. It's not a good situation to be in. Really make the most of my tyres when I'm in. Well, I need to do an knock on on him. <laughs> I'm going to spear him out of the way at turn one. Ocon, <laughs> no Ocon today. Cheers to Alegna. Hopefully, I won't mess this lap up and hold him up. Purple sector, I haven't seen that in a while. Really close fight for first, though. I'm impressed. Tishney and Elegna are very close indeed. After an hour and 40 minutes. Four temps up, my PB. Oh, we're going to do that, mate.
reverse and turn, we're going very slow. PB, 145.9, okay, that's good. Tiffany's into the pits. Still going to get that blue flag warning for a while. In sixth place, though fifth is on here, right in front of us. Is he catching back up? No. Tishney gone. Tishney's just dropped out, dropped out completely. No! Oh, his game's bugged. No! Oh man, that's such a shame. Oh man, trust the game just to ruin it. After an, nearly two hours of racing, well played though, Disney. That was such a close fight. I, I, I don't know what the strategies were. I don't know who was going to come out on top on that one. Sydney's out, we're all going to get in a position, pretty much. I think the mediums are just, they're just not quick enough. You gain like a second or two, but only for a, like a few laps and then let's go off. doing like 47s which is what I do on hard tyres it's not really okay the first lap was good 45 9 but then hard's not really saving the medium's not really saving me any time so, so I think I haven't really bottled it on the track I've bottled the strategy though. I've done a Ferrari my Ferrari game is strong Get those F's in chat for Tishney. But have a look at his channel, it's in the description. Absolute legend of GT Sport. And it's just a shame that we couldn't see a resolution to that battle because it looked like it was going to go right down to the wire between him and the Legna.
Do I have vibration on? Um, a little bit. I don't know what sensitivity it is. It's not very heavy. Yeah, I do have it on, but it's not it's not very much. But I don't know the setting to be honest. and we're going to go in for our last stop in just a second here but I think I'm going to go down to fourth or maybe fifth we'll see what happened on lap 52 that was my pit stop lap so if it's red I went into the pits and then the P lap 53 is when you leave the pit lane and then your lap time is different as well So I'm only four seconds ahead of Gonzo, but he's going to the end. He doesn't have to stop again. Well, all will be clear after this pit stop at the end of this lap, and then we'll be able to work out exactly what is what. The three I'm fighting are right behind me. They're like five, six behind on track. down to that's the question oh two others are in the pits as well I've got a little bit extra on pit fuel just to make sure okay where am I fourth I think I'm comfortable here ish Two guys behind on mediums as well. Yeah. So I'm fighting for fourth, really, I think. It's between Gonzo and Mattman for second, and they're, if you look on the map, going towards turn six and seven now. And so I think they're a couple of seconds between them, so that could change. And then I'm 5.7 ahead of Swift and J Mag. Or fourth. So not quite a sixth. Although it would be fifth with Tichney if he had stayed. Um, or if there was no problem with his game. 
that's something that I've heard before. Um, the game, you go into the pits and it doesn't um, put the right amount of fuel into your car. So that, that just kills you it completely. That happens. Kevin Smith. Super GT is the best fans. Hashtag blessed. Still I rise. I do have the best fans. Thank you all for tuning in. You're legends. You're absolute legends. How many have we got at the moment? 1,600 viewers. Thank you all for tuning in on this fine Sunday evening. I'll probably be streaming again tomorrow. Um, I'm liking the look of the daily races this week, and I haven't done the Monday night stream as I always used to do. I haven't done it for... I didn't do it the last two weeks, I don't think, so that'll be back tomorrow. Uh, daily race A is one of the expressways. Um, N100 could be a meme race um, and then we have race B is group 4 at Red Bull Ring and race C is uh, group 3 at Nürburgring 24 and I always like the Nürburgring 24 race actually so it's the Grand Prix circuit plus Nordschleife um, and I think that always makes for an interesting race I, I tried this week's one, uh, Daily Race C, but on a controller, that Red Bull, that Red Bull car, it does Le Mans in like three minutes flat, um, which is like 30 seconds quicker than an LMP1 car. Um, so it's, it's so hard to control on a controller if you're not good. I think that kind of speed, you need a wheel, and I don't play on a wheel, so. I think oh God, group one is doable on the controller, group two is pretty tricky, but once once you get above that, it's just like ridiculous. Okay, how long? Four or five laps remaining. And a 4.8 second gap, so Swift has actually caught up on that lap. 146.8, not too bad a lap. They are there. If we can pull in a second a lap, then you'll be on me. Ultra new. Thank you for donating. Um, not streaming your usual time. Normally, um, I normally stream at 8pm my time. Um, we have just changed our clocks about a month ago, which might skew some times around the world, but I normally stream at 8pm in, in the UK, to, uh, UK time. It can be fairly harder with YouTube because, of course, it's a global thing. You can be all watching from around the world. And of course, my times won't really suit people in Australia or in Asia. But um, I say the majority of the audience is European and American or Canadian. Brazil actually has quite a lot of viewers too. So, of course, it's probably the middle. Of the, it's the middle of the day for most of the Americans. Like, Swift has actually reeled in another second though. I was I didn't think he'd actually be doing it, but he actually is. Okay, I need to get a move on here. 474. Jesus, okay, we actually have a race here. Four laps left to go. Penalty's nearly gone, that'll go on the next lap. Or the lap after. I lose this position now. Fourth would be too bad, I suppose.
gap still at four seconds. He hasn't gained on this lap. I can't peg him there if I can. Like the difference between the hard and the medium is like you get one really quick lap on a medium which is like a second or two quicker and then after that it's not really much better to be honest the hard is definitely the tire to use I think what's my breaking point for turn 5 um so this is turn four here. Turn five is a hard one. Basically, when I'm revving to go up to gear four, basically, I change into gear four and then I brake like that, and then that seems to get me in there. But then you have to get turn four right. It's, I don't know. It's a hard one because I don't really use any markers for that turn. That one just before the curb. Uh, turn nine up the hill here. You just turn in after the curb on the left. This hairpin, there's a, like a break in the wall on the right hand side. Uh, there. And there's like a little black box next to it. That's where I'm breaking, although that's too late. I think that's where you need to break if you've got fresh tyres. But scale it a little bit forward so the tyres wear out. Hair, uh, for, sorry, for the chicane, just under this gantry here, where the shadow is basically. Kind of works out nicely. Let's turn. Buy a wheel for this, please. Greetings from Germany. Thanks very much for the two euro. I mean, I have a wheel I could use. It's in the, you can see it just here. But I'm going to... Well, soon, basically, we'll see things happening. You should follow my Instagram if you want to see updates. I'll do photograph updates of what I'm getting. I've, I've spent a lot of money this weekend, let's put it that way. And things are a changing. Okay, he's actually gained on that, that massive, although he's got 4.5 second penalty. They are catching the pair of them, but they both have penalties. So just, I just need to make sure I don't make a big mistake and I don't get a penalty myself. And I should be good. Last lap, 66. So I think I lapped in the end. I'm going to finish on the lead lap. 104. It's within two seconds, but should be okay. Yeah, there's that amazing new rim that Fanatex brought out. Um, it's like the F1 rim, like a limited edition one. It's all sold out now. That thing looked incredible. Um, think about it, you can um, upgrade 
they have like podium spec up, um, mount up podium spec what are they called shifters that you can put on the back so yeah that looks interesting yeah not being lapped so could be worse after two hours of racing from the lead lap could be worse I suppose Ascaro's won it well done to him he raced really well to be fair to him and to, to give Tichney a good race you've done well you know if, if, if you're racing Tichney in a genuine battle then you're fast it's a shame that we couldn't see who would have won that battle but um, Eleven still drove very well Tichney drove very well as well Gonna be Gonzo in second. To be honest, I I could have been second. I just missed. I just messed up the the pit strategy. That's that's what it was. I had to go in one more time than I should have done. And it was quite a long pit lane, so that cost me. So I might have had second if I didn't mess that up. But it's gonna be fourth, which isn't too bad a result. So how far was I was 20 so 19 seconds behind second but Legna well played mate really good uh, race from you great stuff I was pretty amazing you know when I was getting lapped I got overtaken by Legna at one point and then they were right on each other that was pretty crazy how that you know, after like two hours, they're like right there. Great stuff. Thank you so much for joining. Um, that's not the end of the stream, though. Um, we're only just getting started. 200 laps of fish 200 laps of Fisherman's Ranch. We've got to do our rally race here. It's, um, what's the best one? Windmills. Yeah, I like this one. This one's pretty mental. 66 laps. Manuel, Arsenal is top of the table in my FIFA career. Just wanted to share for a fellow Guna. Happy Sunday. Nice driving. Good stuff. At least they're at the top of the summer league. But many thanks, mate. Fourth place. Not too bad. Um, I don't think I, I didn't really make too many mistakes other than the strategy. That's what I messed up, really. So people can stay in this lobby if they like. I'm just going to go to some random funny races now. We'll, we'll do some. We'll do some uh, actual. Let's call it Super GT Open. Open lol. Yeah, let's call it that. So okay. We're going to do a two lapper in Group B, and the rules are that there are no rules. So just absolutely send it. Murder your opponents. Wait, I do. Th oh, I need to change the tyres. I think. Matt, man, my legs. <laughs> well, race, Matt. Um, for a while, I was, I was thinking I might have been able to beat you, but then I realised when you, I think it's lap forty-two, you pitted, and I was like, 42, 50, 50, 58, 66. I was like, God, he's he's done it right. He's got. He's pitted exactly on the right lap. So yeah, well played on that. Okay. Here's our obligatory, obligatory, um, rally race. It's got to be done. Can people actually choose their car? I think they can. Doritos wagon. Yeah, boy. I think everyone's... Are they all... Come on. Come on, you can do another two laps. Well, actually, yeah. Wait. I do need to back out. Actually, we'll do this race and then I'll back out because um, I said it to friends only. We'll do this one race and then I'll make it a true open. Master Swift, I was doing 11 laps stints on the hards, ended close. Yeah, it was close at the end. The problem for me, I was like, when I went into the race, I thought, 
66 laps, just do 11 lap stints, then you only have to go into the pits five times. I think I went in seven in the end. Uh, but I just, I felt like by the ninth, or by, by like the eighth lap, I was losing too much time. I was like going down to the 150s, and I was like, oh, it'd be quicker just to do another stop. But then I messed up again and just had to do seven stops instead of six. Wasn't counting the numbers right. How many people got out on track? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Which gamepad am I using? I just used like a box standard DS4. Nothing special. But that was a good race, Swift. Um, it was close at the end there, for fourth, between three of us. We were only seconds apart. was in the 50s by 9, 10, 11. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like... You're losing like three seconds a lap by that point. It's like... I don't know what is the best. I'd like to know what Titian and Allegna were doing. There's a TCS on, yeah. I'll turn off. Right, let's get this race underway. So anyone who's just joined, um, we've done the 66 laps, now we just do some fun races. Oh, I should drink some water, how about that? Here we go! Sixth, obviously. Starting sick. This game is garbage, play Forza? Okay, well I'm turning it off. That wing though. Jump it, guys. Oh, they jumped it. <laughs> oh, come on. You can go now. Four second penalty. The other guy didn't get one. Canadian. Oh, right. Where's Tishney? I want to get him. Just smash him off. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Oh, everyone's ghosted out. Oh, okay. And a wall ride. Oh, everyone's just drifting wide. Everyone's gone for the wall bounce. <laughs> Tissue in the Peugeot. He loves a Peugeot. Come on, can we overtake Tishney? Grand Turismo World Finalist. <laughs> oh, hate mail. Murdered Tishney. Just overtook a Grand Turismo World Finalist. Like it was nothing. Oh, four second penalty. Where is he? Oh, he's right behind me. I'm gonna get me back now. The absolute meme race. Tishney's there. Oh, the penalty's going down nicely. Why about it too much? Oh no, he's killed me! <laughs> Tishney with revenge here. Savage. Oh, he's off 9.9 .9 second penalty now. Right, he's getting back. I'm gonna save it. Save it for a good place. Oh, he's just drifting wide. He's drifting wide. To tiptoe around the turn. See you later.
No! Oh, I nearly caught up there. Oh, man. Yeah, for those who can't find the lobby, I'm just going to back out because I've set to friends only. So I'm going to create a new lobby after this. Good fun, that. <laughs> Tishney with a big hit. <laughs> I beat Tishney though. I'm basically good enough for a world final. Count me in for next year. Yeah, Catalonia's looking different. <laughs> right, I'm just going to back out. Thank you for joining. But you can still join again when I start this new one up. Is that Spain? Yeah, I don't know where that track is. Sardinia Windmills. Um... I don't know which country that's set in, to be honest. I need to have an open lobby. Um, um, Super GT one year, let's do that. Open. Just none. Um, Group 4, BOP, racing hard, weak. There's everything. Public. Yep. Okay. Right. It's open. Sardinia is in Italy. Okay, yep. Cool. Look at the Doritos wagon. MLG AF. I reckon that livery is worth about a second a lap. Yakko on there as well. What a combo. Doritos, tangy cheese flavour. Wash it all down with some Yakko. Gotta be healthy. Okay, let's see who joins them. Batman is back in. OG Pie Overlord. Can't get enough. They just can't get enough. A lot of names I'm, I don't recognise, but you know, it's good to have a, a mix. Um, you know what? Let's just do this race. I was going to change it, but let's do it. Why not? Group four. Okay. Now, this car choice is 100% on the viewers. Let me know. But no Peugeot. Not doing a Peugeot. RCZ. Get in the bin. Get in that freaking bin. I hate that car. Slipstream's on weak. Okay, let's change that. Yeah. It's weird because... Real is actually the least... Don't know why it works like that, but it does. Okay, who have we got? I don't really recognize any of the names. Well, Iceman tried to join earlier. Pi Overlord and Matman were there. McLaren, Cayman, NSX. Persia. No! No! I hate that car. I hate it. Ooh. McLaren. Oh, I'm not going to use the Cayman because I always use that for manufacturers. NSX. 650S, McLaren. Yeah, let's go McLaren. I, I, I fancy McLaren. Um, tribute to Fernando. Cheeky Nando. How about it? Darn it. Dragon Trail uh, Gardens. Great track, this. Love this track. In the, the Rucker Rucker MC Laren. Let's go for it. Um, so, it's got 1% fuel. It's basically just, don't have to worry about it.
love the look of the 650S. It's a nice boy. Oh baby, that's late. Okay, I think I need to do a lap here just to acclimatise myself to this circuit in this class. I normally race group 3 around here. Maybe I'll break down like a true McLaren, yeah. McLaren are just... They're just an enigma. They, they were with Renault. No, they were with Honda. Didn't work out, okay. Go to Renault, and then it's just like... We should be on par with the Red Bull, yeah, because we've got a great... We've got a great chassis. And then they're like fighting Toro Rosso at the back. It's like, what? What are you doing, guys? There's Matt Man in the Ferrari. Ferrari passed. Getting passed by McLaren. Like the glory days of F1. Not quite. Oh, he's braked early. I'm on the outside. I just went full send and I really shouldn't have done it there. Bye bye. Get out of my way, y'all. Jesus. Okay, that's a bit better. Yeah, that's fine. Sent it to another dimension. Hyperdrive! You're awesome! Oh no, you... No, 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 no. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Hyperdrive, you legend. Cheeky little legend. Watch this ultimate send. I'm just... I am gonna send it here, no matter what. Double send on the way out. Oh, it's gone for the double send. Brutal. Is your ABS on weak and what's fastest? Um, my ABS is on default. And I, from what I can tell, that is the fastest. I, to be honest, it's not something I pay attention to, but I think default is, um, is decent. Start a second, okay. I'm the only member of the SS here. Okay. I don't know how good this McLaren is, though, really. It seemed okay just then. It seemed fairly drivable. Well, then again, Group 4 cars are very drivable, apart from the Peugeot, which is awful. Okay, six laps. Dragon Trail Gardens. Group four. Tires and fuel, don't have to worry about it. I've got 60, 69 laps of fuel there. Well, oh, actually, it's going up. Okay. Uh, 40 laps of, I've got 40 laps of fuel. Okay. Here we go! Oh man. Sorry, OG Pie Overlord. Come on, let's hunt down that Corvette. We've got the Ferrari now coming up behind us.
Oh, baby. I'll take it back then. Come back here, Edgar Sonic. Lap 2 bottle incoming. I hope not. I might save it for lap 6. The closer to the end, the better. Ooh. Right, I'm in the slipstream. Suck me along, boy. the line. Ride the sausage. Breaking a little bit too early there, eh? Oh, the pressure's on, mate. Don't make a big mistake. This McLaren's actually pretty decent. Kind of like it. Come to the back of him. Oh, he's wide. He's very wide. Nick up the inside. Oh no. Come on. Drag race to the final turn. High overall. So, oh, look at that speed. That's where this car loses out. He's actually put his indicator back on there. And lunge him halfway through this turn. Oh, he's running really narrow. That's not pretty at all. Pi Overall's going to come into this. So is Matt Man. Oh, baby, I'm going to have to defend it. <laughs> oh, no. I've got no straight line speed. Oh, no. Three abreast going in here. I'm going in a billy. I'm going to get in ahead, though. I need the slipstream, I need the slipstream, otherwise I'm dead on the straight. Dip around the outside, Pi Overlaws there. That man's still lurking. For the inside against the, the BMW, for the right. Great battle this. Oh man, I've gone full send. I have to let him through on the way out. Hmm. I think he's he was breaking too early, but obviously that wasn't a good overtake. Okay, we're gonna have to do some more work here then. Half the race done. That man's struggling a little bit in that far away. Move on, mate. Oh, he's 
wide. Oh, he got done around the outside by McLaren. We're out of the slipstream of the leader, though. We're coming across here, mate. We need to work together. Ah, uh, no, he's going for it. Come on, put a good lap in. We still get first. There we go, gaining now. Come on, go, get first. Oh good, I'll do it then. Deep. Full send. Made a mistake. Oh, come on. Oh, I pushed him. Whoops. Please help me with the slipstream. There we go. That's what we need. Teamwork. that right up we need team mode but we also need to actually race properly we need to actually not do that Oh no, where's he going? Where's he going? That's the bottle job. Oh no, where's Pi Overlord's gone? Yes! <laughs> Cheers everyone, thank you. Yep. <laughs> the people's champion. Come on. What a what a win. I should have done it I should have made it a lot easier for myself, but <laughs> got there in the end. Uh, this track is called Dra uh, Dragon Trail Gardens. This this track is cool. Do a mini dab. Oh god. That was a good race. That was good fun. The Portuguese, yeah, the Portuguese guy. That was the bottle job. Uh, just a cheeky round the outside in the last corner. Why not? I knew, like, just keep the left, and then I'll force him narrow, and then I'll just mess up his turn, and then I'll just go back to the outside and take the normal line. But that was a great race, either way. Get dabbed on. 
no, I enjoyed that. Really good fun. I mean, I made it hard work for myself by making so many mistakes. But then again, I, I could see that Edgar there, the Portuguese guy, was making mistakes too. And I thought, I'll just keep with him, he might make one. And he did. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. Great drive. That was a good race. Good stuff. Yeah, baby. Group 4, yeah, actually... I kind of had a bad image, bad perception of Group 4 because of like the domination of the McGann's before and... Bash, I think. It's a, it's a great class, actually. And another track I think we could do which actually be quite similar to that. With this. We'll do another group four. Just here. But that was a good that was good fun that. <laughs> Pie Overlord. This is James. We're gonna have to settle in behind Super GT. You actually do sound like Lewis's race engine. What's his name? Pete Bonington? Is it? I think his name is. I just, I don't know. I just almost I just laugh every time I hear him now. Get in there, Lewis. Miracles do happen, mate. Well done, mate. Get in there. Get in there, Lewis. I need to work out what. What else did he say? Great drive, mate. Uh, what was I going to change? Change something there. Tire damage, bonds, oh that, yeah, good order. Reverse, yeah. Okay, okay the car choice. Um, I'm going to go for the NSX, a lot of people were calling for that. Uh, where is it? I'll give it a go. Yeah, without tire wear, Group 4 is good, yeah. Okay, Honda. The other side of the doomed McLaren Honda partnership this time. This car's sliding. Right, anyone who says Peugeot gets banned. <laughs> or Pug. I might give it a go later. I don't know how good this NSX is, to be honest. We'll see. Do a quick lap and then get the race on the way. Let the games begin once again. That's pretty vicious when you come off of that over onto this turn. Wake your spine in reality. Wider than I should really be going for there. And I get a penalty for good measure. Nice. They say you cut the course. You have to slow down and count back the time gained. Purple sector. 
let's get a space time. Da 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 da. Right, let's go. Nice red lamb on pole. McLaren. Got a fair mix of uh, ratings in here. There's another SS in 12th. We're doing a rolling start. I think it is. What's his Insta? My Instagram is linked in the description. Right, let's go. Starting dead last. Because obviously I, because I won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear that? Because I won the last race. Right, let's go. See what we can do. Someone's already on the far left. Let the games begin. Oh, oh, hello. What's going on there? Are they on? Oh, I think the um. What's it called? The auto ghost, auto drive thing bug. They're not actually controlling their cars. <laughs> Lexus has lost it in the wall. I think the 10th. I'll take that. Five positions and half a lap. Break just before the shadow. Oh, look at this. It's an absolute orgy of terror. Who's going to escape from that one alive? I don't know. Oh, not him. Oh, no, he, he kind of got rescued there. Oops, sorry, Matt, man. Just killed you. He'll come back for his revenge in this life and the next. Come on, guys, get through that turn. <laughs> oh, good fun. That's all good fun. Start to seventh. Get wrecked. NSX is the best car. I'm going to prove it here. The lunge on the titty. Oh, they run super deep. Oh, I have to go around the outside of him. To fifth. Oh, I can hear contacts. I love the sound of contact behind me. People just getting killed, and it's not affecting me at all. Come on, Honda. The pride of Japan. Do it for Japan. Oh, look at that lunge. Of the leaders here. You can go to the right. You can go to the right. There you go. I ain't letting you through that easy, bro. He's white. We're not about to get him into the hairpin. I don't think so. Kind of, kind of back on the way out. Sweep around him. Oh, that's beautiful. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Going for that Oreo, Aston Martin in the lead. Edgar's following me through. It's a great race, this. Scintillating stuff. It's such a simple tactic. Force them narrow and then go around the outside. It just works. Unless they run you out, which is very easy to, for them to do. And it does happen. 
Oh no, horse is there. Lap four. Oh no, he's wide. Got sucked off. Couldn't resist. Gone for the send. Probably sensible decision. He slips through me down the straight now. Last to first, but the race isn't over, I can still bottle it. Oh, it's coming through, that Lambo's quick with the slipstream. Fair play, good move, he's through. Ooh, where am I going? Oh, he's moved right. Go deep. Line, to be fair. Oh no! Strong move. Down to third. So I can get back on in this race. is going to get on the way out. Look at that. Good line. Oh no! Oh, I've almost lost it. I was guilty of watching him there. Back into second. Again. The only way you can make it work is with contact. Oh man, what a race! Might have been a win. A second is not too bad. I'll take that. That was a good race. That track's pretty good for Group 4, I think. Maybe a little bit underappreciated appreciate that track, but with like no tyre wear and stuff, it's good. That was a good little battle, that, with Ryan as well. Got past him, he got back past, and then he defended his position. Stuff. Good stuff. going to be second, there it is. Nice. Liking the Group 4 races, you know? Good fun. What track could we do for Group 4? Yeah. We can do Red Bull Ring. Um, let's give Red Bull Ring a try. 
because that's next week's day race. It's one of them anyway. Uh, okay, car choice, everyone. Let me know what you want me to drive. Ah, oh, I've got Tijni in here. Nice. Cool stuff. Brands Hatch is actually that's a good shout for Group Four, but we're going to Red Bull Ring. Four five eight. Have I got a four five eight? I don't know if I've got the group four. No. I haven't got it. Anything but a pug. I like you. Citroen, Lexus, Peugeot, 458, Master, GT4. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I don't have the 458. Wait, let me just have a double check. Can't see it. Nope. I've got loads of McLarens. I've got like four McLarens. Corvette, that's a good shout. Yeah, I'll go for a Corvette. Um, I have got one somewhere. There it is. Yeah, what's everyone going for? TT, Huracan, Scirocco, NSX Huracan. There's a mix. That's good to see. Everyone's going for something different. What's Tishney gone for? TT. I think Audi is his manufacturer. So, yeah. He, he loves a Titty. I haven't used the Corvette in a long time. Yeah, I haven't used the GTR in a while actually. That's true. I don't know I don't think they're that good. I think they'd be nerfed to hell. They'd be nerfed to oblivion. This track really is about the breaking points. Get them right for the first split anyway. Have I done iRacing? Yes, I have. Um, not, in a, not in a long time, but I have played it. I've made a couple of videos on it a long time ago. What Thrustmaster wheel do I have? Uh, it's the TX. That's the base anyway. And then the the rim is the 599XX Alcantara. But I do also have the F Ferrari F1 rim. Kalsters in there. Yeah, boy. Good to see a Kalster. Right, here we go. Oh, mate, look at that. Whoops. Try and actually take the proper racing line next time. I don't know who's going anyway. But I'll, I'll actually try and stick to the track for turn one. So, earlier on in the stream, of course, we did the 66 laps of Catalonia. Um, if you want to keep up to date with that, um, or with future endurance races that I do, basically, normally what I do, I, I put out a Google form. So you just fill out a form and then you just sign yourself up for it. Uh, the best way to keep up to date for that is on my Twitter, 
It's all linked in the description. Uh, or on my Discord. So just join one of them. Follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord. Or do both. And while you're there, follow me on Instagram as well. Why not? I'll be showing all my new setup and stuff on there. No doubt very soon. Uh, very soon I'll be doing that, no doubt, is what I was meant to say. Okay, that's enough. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Should be starting second to last. Calster and Tishney, you have to go to the back straight away. You're too good to be at the front. Gonzo <laughs> needs to. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for joining, mate. It's a really good race. I think I messed up my strategy. I could have beaten you, like if I got it dead right. I didn't, obviously. But I think it was a good race between us. And thanks for taking part. Thanks for joining. And well done on finishing in second. Right, here we are, 14th. Ryan's at the back. He's gone for the Lambo again. Right? I think Dodge Lamb is it. I know the Dodge Lamb's an SS drive as well. Oh, what's going on? Okay, yeah, that's Danny. There's Titchley going slow and Dodge Lamb. Kaus is gonna win this one from the front. Oh, where's Chaos through turn one? Chaos to write messages while he's racing. Casual as you like. Oh, who's that? The Canadian's off. There's Kals going slow now. Good boy. Oh, Lambo's wide. Swapped. Quite was crashing here. Eh? I think Ryan's inadvertently put someone on the gravel there. <laughs> Get punted, boy. Oh, man. Dodge Lamb out of nowhere. Hot oh, damn. Here comes Matt Man in the Viper. Tishney's coming as well. Look out for the yellow TT. Oh, no. <laughs> Who was that? Binned himself. Over the sausage of doom. I'm gonna go left. Where's Dodge Lamb going? No contact. Oh, well, I think that's Titchley going wide. I'm gonna make it three abreast. Or try to at least. It probably won't end well. Oh, Jesus. See you later, mate. <laughs> oh, brutal. Correct. We can look forward to more of this action in the weekly races. But I'm hoping it's not as, aggress as aggressive as this. Make the most of the clear air now. It's a penalty, oh no. Oh, 
that's a big battle back there. I'm thankful to not be in it. Can I catch up a second? I think first place is gone. Long gone. And Tishney is now into fourth. 1.4 behind me. Can't rule him out. I have gained on the guy in front. A couple of attempts on this lap. Oh, he's wide. Another big mistake. I'm gaining. Tishney's gaining on me. Oh, someone's gone really wide there. Kalsa's coming through on Tishney, it looks like. Try my best. Is that Calster cheeky outside overtake? I've got myself a penalty. Calster's there. Quite on me now. Send. I'll take that back, thank you. Oh, get out. Send it, mate. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, RIP headphone users. Oh no, Tishy's got better as well. What's he done? Oh no. Bottled it. That's a shame. I think Kalster is... Yeah, he always, he always drives a Lambo. Factory driver. The Lamborghini squad. Cast a switch back on him. Right, not quite. I think that Dutchman in seconds done well to kind of hold on to that. But well, they still got two corners left. Klaus has sent it. Oh, he's gone into the last turn. <laughs> Come on, give him a penalty. Oh, what? Tishy got a penalty for that. <laughs> Unlucky, pal. That was a. That was a. Weird race that. Ah, 
guys are good racers, good fun, weren't it? Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. It's pretty chaotic, those early laps. What the hell happened at the start? So I think Dodge Lamb and Tijney both slowed down straight away. Then Calista slowed down a little bit later. But it was all a bit chaotic and <laughs> there were so many people. There were like four abreast at some point. Style of design, he's all Gran Turismo. Yeah, nice. I saw some of your photos, good stuff. And hopefully you're enjoying the, um, the photo mode. Uh, delivery creator mode. I'm going to stick to group four. I'll go to the good old brands of hatch. This group four is actually pretty good, just racing. It's just that in a, like a FIA, it just gets a bit... With the fuel, I don't like when there's fuel and stuff, it's not that good. But when there's no fuel, if it's daily race B, it's fine. It's good. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, the lobby's full, so there's actually no spoilers. There's no spoilers. There's no spoilers. There's, no there's, no there's no space for anyone to join. I'd love it if you could just have like a 50 player lobby. Imagine the chaos. Imagine the amount of death. Oh, wait, I need to choose my car. I can choose something different. Um, back out. Okay. I had my eyes on the Viper. But I'm going to... Someone, a couple of people said it. Citroen. I've not used this car. I can't remember ever using this car. Let's do it. This is a weird looking machine, look at it. Wait, this cow's doing some donuts in the pit lane. My TCS isn't even off, That's, I've never used this car. We need to do rally again. 200 laps, Fisherman's Ranch. Let's go. Pretty, um, pretty much on rails, it's got the shit run. Hmm. We'll see. There must be some weakness to it. driver. I do, let's start. Okay. And um, where am I going to be starting? Uh, about 11th. Let's have a look. 12th. Okay. Should be a good one. Let's see how it goes in this shit run. What we've got behind us: Tiffany in the Audi, Calster in the Lamborghini, of course. Edgar's gone for the, the shit run as well. Oh, 
Iceman forgot to enter. Well. Rip. Let the games begin. All the SS drivers filtering to the back. I ain't gonna let you in there, bro. Oh, someone's deep. On the grass. <laughs> around the outside. Oh, he got punted. First time we go around him, then. Oh, Jesus Christ, what's going on there? What the hell? What triggered all of that? By the Nines Divine. Stop right there, criminal scum. Oh, mate. Got lunch by Peugeot. That's not good news. That's quite a setback. Home slice. Home slice. What a word. Come back here, Peugeot. I can't be beaten by a Peugeot. That's a, that's a crime against humanity. Is this white? God, what's he doing? Absolute shambles. Pons wide again. Jesus, this is not going well. It's an absolute disaster. 4C up the inside. Someone give me some slipstream, please. God, this is brutal. Brutal racing here at Browns Hatch. Jeez, this is such a shambles. Look at it. What an absolute mess. Four C's gone for the lunge. Oh, God. No one can get out of this group. No one can escape. Oh, he can. That's the only way out. If I get sucked off. That's the only way you get out of this. Oh yeah, so, so for those of you who have just joined, I've already done the 66 laps. You should be able to rewind the stream. If you want to watch it, you can, you can go back and watch it. Three abreast into turn one. Jesus Christ, man. What is going on? Everyone's lagging. Edgar now. Come on, Edgar. Let's catch up. We're going to get sick. Sick fair. Come on. Come on, hurry up. Oh, 
likes he likes to defend really late. Like just when you're right on him, then he'll, then he'll move over. Oh, six faces wide. Oh, look at that British one, two, three, four, five, six. Hell yeah, on our home circuit. Right, it's all about fastest lap now. Tishney with a thirty point four. I'm out of the group. Thank God for that. There's seven temps. Can improve by by more than that, right? Seven temps. Someone off with turn one. Again, 30.3 is improved. So I can get within a second of him. It'll be a good barometer. Let's do let's go a tenth quicker, which I have just got a tenth quicker. For that split. This car isn't, it's very planted. I, I just don't think it has much power. There we go. Race done. Tishney and Kalsner going through there to third and, uh, second and third. That was a mental race. That first three laps were just absolute death. It was a death sentence out there. Theresa May's robot dance made me horny. I think it made like mo if any girl watches it, they instantly become pregnant. It was it was that sexy. It's pretty darn hot. Okay. Sick. Obviously. Sick. Place. That's how, you, that's how you pronounce it. 400 miles today. Nice. Oh. Right. I was going to end it there, but we're going to do one more, and it's going to be an absolute meme race. Absolute meme race, and you know where it is. Uh, where is it? Fisherman's Ranch, one lap. Let the games begin. No ghosting, no penalties. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Do what you want. This is it. Wall ride, ram. Do it for the realm of ramming. 
the realm of rammers. Get inducted into the realm of rammers. Here we go. Best track in the game. Fisherman's Ranch. Yeah. Um, now I'm going to choose a Peugeot. I'm going to go for the Peugeot now. Alright, here we go. Just make it clear in here. <laughs> you have to you have to do a meme race always. No rules. Right, let's go. No penalties. Anything is allowed. DDoS attack your opponents. Let's do a little bit of practice here, but we want to get straight into it ideally. Someone was in the middle of the map there. You can like really wall by some of these turns. Okay. Not quite that, like that, but. Fisherman's Ranch is the best track in the game, 100%. No doubt about that. Get wall riding. Get wall riding hard, mate. Okay, right, that'll do. This is why I'm a member right here. Group for group group B on Fisherman's Ranch. This is what life's all about. This is where true champions are made. There we go. 14 players. We got a Grand Tour World Finalist in here. Tijani in 13. Let the games begin. Prison rules. No mercy. Ramaman's Ranch. Right. I declare the game's open. Let's go. Oh, he's gone in for the early. <laughs> Wait, I thought I turned ghosting off. Oh well. Still Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. These races are just brilliant. Oh, look at him go. Edgar Sonic flying through. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh damn, son. Where did you find me? Oh, get punted, Iceman. Oh, <laughs> Edgar Sonic facing the wrong way there. <laughs> Kaus is through to fifth, he's behind me. Is he wall riding? Oh, there he, there he is! <laughs> Cheeky pun, god. I was getting back for that. Right, this is where the wall riding comes in. Even though it's just a, like an orange mesh fence. Oh no! Brutal! Brutal assault. <laughs> it's an absolute mess. Wall riding, okay. Doesn't... Oh no! There's Tishney. It doesn't work, it doesn't work for this first half of the map. It gets better as we go on. Ye yellow flag. Oh, there's Tijani with the lunge. I'm getting abused so much here. Oh, there's Tijani in the wall. He's getting, he's getting killed. Everyone's targeting the world finalist. Got nowhere to hide it. Oh, send him to the shadow realm. Okay, 
here. This is where the. This is where the... Cheers for that. Oh, Kowski, you killed my wall right, man. Running away with this one. Not involved in all the chaos. <laughs> Kill Calster. Yes. Mission accomplished. Bring it on Calster. Come on. There we go. Around the outside, son. Oh, mate. Back here. Oh, you yeah, look at that. No. Get wide. <laughs> so came flying in. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. a mega boost. Dodge land. 10 seconds in the lead. What a win. Oh god. <laughs> Tisney had a hard time there. He was getting murdered. I think he got murdered about eight times. Jesus. What a race. That's the pinnacle of motorsport. Forget about F1. That's what you need. That is what you need. <laughs> Thanks for the clean race. Oh man. <laughs> that, that was a brilliant race. I always love a good fisherman's ranch. You gotta you gotta respect a good fisherman's ranch race. Magnuson simulator. How did someone get a penalty? Uh, uh, did they? I must have left something on. Calster, you murdered me about eight times. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Iceman. You boosted me and then I murdered you for, oh. <laughs> as, a, as a prize. That was good fun, though. And uh, we're going to wrap up the stream there. It's been uh, nearly four hours. So we did the two hours, pretty much. 66 laps of Catalonia. Finished fourth. That was a good race. Shame that Tishini... Couldn't uh, quite finish that one. It looked like he was going to be in for a, a close battle for the lead. But I just couldn't quite. Uh, there's a problem with the pit stop, I think. But, um, yeah. We'll do more of that. We've got to do our oblig obligatory Fisherman's Ranch race every every stream, I think. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was good fun. Awesome. Yeah, you killed me a couple of times there. But you, you got... It was a good, <laughs> that was a good race. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you as always. Um, don't forget to, if you want to tune in for the, if you want to take part, should I say, in the next endurance race, um, I'm going to make a Google form and then just follow my Twitter or my go on my Discord group. And that's where I announce most things or everything. And then you're about to sign up there if you want to take part in the next one, which may well be on the new Tokyo track when that comes out because that's coming out in the next update. Wait, which... Wednesday is the 28th, so I might I won't I won't do an endurance, but I might stream it. If the if the um, new update is on Wednesday, I'll stream it. But um, but yeah, that's it. Um, really enjoyed that one. It's good fun. Thank you all for joining. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the donations. Thanks for just tuning in. Thanks for hitting the like button down below. I always cringe when people do that. The little pointing thing. Just die. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this Sunday evening. Have a nice week next week. And I'll probably see you tomorrow because um, I'm liking the look of the new Monday races. They're looking pretty good. Tune in tomorrow. Don't miss it. See you there. Goodbye.